India is poised to become a major industrial power in the coming decades, for which self-sufficiency in primary metals is a prerequisite. Rampura Agucha Mine, which is the fifth largest lead zinc deposit in the world, is ideally placed to fulfill the demand requirements of the economy. But this needs to be done with little disturbance to the environment. And who knows it better than HZL, which has more than 40 years of experience of eco-friendly mining in the country. Rampura Agucha, an eco-friendly mine. Hindustan Zinc Limited knows how to best use nature's gifts and firmly believes in the adage that clean air, water and soil are not only a gift from our forefathers but what we owe to our children. Indian lead zinc industry has witnessed a prolific growth after incorporation of Hindustan Zinc Limited. The Rampura Agucha mine has contributed significantly to this growth. Located in Bhilwara district of Rajasthan, about 72 kilometers south of Ajmer, Rampura Agucha mine boasts one of the richest lead zinc deposits with a total metal content of about 15%. The Rampura Agucha mine, commissioned in 1991, with a production capacity of 3,000 tons of ore per day, was expanded to a capacity of 11,400 tons per day in 2005. The mine is poised to grow and improve further on all fronts to become one of the world's best lead zinc mines. The period since inception of the Rampura Agucha mine has been extremely significant for the environmental and economic development of the region. From a bare desert landscape, this semi-arid region in the dry state of Rajasthan has been transformed into a lush green pocket harboring more than 275,000 trees. Rampura Agucha mine has mining leasehold area of 1,200 hectares, out of which only 869 hectares have been acquired for mining purposes. An additional 74 hectares have been acquired, which have been developed as a township 8 kilometers from the mining area. Hindustan Zinc Limited has launched various schemes for protection of the precious environment around its mine. The schemes have been integrated into the production activities so as to make all mining, beneficiation and auxiliary operations environment friendly. Wet drilling operations are carried out in favor of dry drilling operations to prevent dust particles at the open pit mine site from getting airborne. The level of ground vibration during blasting is kept well below the limit by controlling maximum charge, delay and adopting other measures like non-electric initiation systems. Hall road dust is suppressed through regular sprinkling of water through an elaborate system of sprinklers. Crushing of mined ore is completed in three stages. In the first stage, ore from the mine is crushed in a primary crusher to less than 150 millimeters in size. In second and third stages, this coarse ore is then crushed in secondary and tertiary crushers with closed circuit screening to produce fine ore of less than 16 millimeter size. During the process of crushing, a lot of dust is generated which can be harmful for operators and the environment. To prevent this, a number of measures are taken. Water is sprinkled through nozzles at the time of ore transfer to the primary crusher. Venturi scrubbers are installed for collection and recycling of dust. In the plant, every small detail is taken care of, including provision of covers for all conveyors to prevent fugitive dust emissions. In the last expansion, semi-autogenous grinding SAG mill was installed for wet grinding of ore directly from primary crusher. Fine ore is subsequently subjected to wet grinding in rod and ball mills before undergoing froth flotation to 
to produce zinc and lead concentrates. Automatic controls have been incorporated in the grinding and flotation processes. The lead and zinc concentrates are produced in the form of slurry. These are then thickened and filtered and the water recovered is recycled to the process. Moisture content of 7 to 8 percent is maintained in the filtered concentrate to reduce dust generation during handling and transportation. Industrial roads and yards are cleaned by mechanical road sweepers to reduce fugitive dust emission. The concentrate dumpers are covered with tarpaulins during transportation to avoid loss and consequent pollution. Truck washing systems to trap concentrate sticking to wheels are also utilized. The material left after recovery of lead and zinc concentrates is known as tailing. The thickened tailing slurry is pumped for disposal into a lined tailing dam. While the solids in the tailing settle down, clear water is accumulated on one end of the tailing dam from where it is pumped back to the plant for reuse. An effective zero discharge is maintained. A reclaimed water reservoir of 50,000 cubic meter capacity was constructed for collection of water from all sources to reduce evaporation losses at the tailing dam. A tank of 5,000 cubic meter capacity has been constructed to capture and recycle accidental spillage, overflows and miscellaneous discharge from various sources within the industrial area. An oil and grease trap is also installed at the head of this tank. The water management system at Rampura Aguta Mine is designed to be a foolproof system of water capture and reuse. There is no physical loss of water used in the process. For each ton of mined ore, four to five tons of waste rock is generated. Efficient waste dump management is being practiced at Rampura Aguta Mine from the very beginning. Systematic dumping of this waste at earmarked sites within the mining area is carried out. The dump has been planned for four lifts of 10 meters each with an overall slope of 27 degrees to minimize the entrainment of dust. Screen plantation has been developed to reduce visual impact of waste dumps. Plantation is also being carried out on the inactive slopes and benches of the dump after proper grading. Garland drains and collection ponds have been constructed for collection and recycling of runoff water. At Rampura Aguja Mine, a lot of attention has gone into development of green belts even before the start of actual mining operations in 1991. A lush green belt has been developed to reduce any negative fallout of mining activities in consonance with Hindustan Zinc Limited's tradition of caring for the environment. Regular monitoring of various environmental parameters is also carried out at the Rampura Aguja mine for evaluating the success and efficacy of various control measures. Corrective measures are initiated whenever required based on periodic reviews at various levels to prevent further pollution. Adequate medical and health facilities have been provided to cater to primary health problems and for monitoring of occupational health. Medical facilities are also extended to neighboring villages. Rampura Aguja Mine has also transformed the lives of hundreds of villagers in the region. There has been a significant improvement in the socio-economic condition of local people. Today, they have access to safe drinking water, schools and primary health care and, most importantly, hope for a bright future. With an increasing pressure on natural resources and a corresponding increase in public awareness, more and more environmental legislation is being enacted. However, Hindustan Zinc Limited does not want a world full of legislation, but a community with a conscience. At Rampura Aguja Mine, H0 is committed to be a world-class corporate citizen.